no, Tyler, don't. If he doesn't feed, he'll die anyway, love. Consider this an experiment. And there's your pretty little girlfriend, Caroline. Stefan had two parts in front of him, and he chose the one that made me angry. Seriously, man, can't you just get one of your other hybrids to do your bidding? I lost my friends. My girlfriend. Right, your, uh, your girlfriend. Um, about her. I need you to bite her. What? Don't make me repeat myself. Ouch! What the hell? Oh, oh no. Did you... Did you just bite me? Oh, my God. Sorry. Oh, my God. No. Oh, no. Caroline? No, 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 no. No, no. Caroline. Sorry. Get away from me! Get away no. from me! That looks bad. My apologies. You're what's known as collateral damage. It's nothing personal. Why you invited me here? I fancy you. That's hard to believe. Yes. Why? You're beautiful. You're, you're strong. You're full of light. I enjoy you. Well, I'm spoken for. Are you serious? Take a hand. Don't be angry, love. We had a little spat. I'm over it already. Oh, well, I'm not. How can I quit myself? killed thousands of people. Elena's aunt, an entire pack of hybrids, my friends. Caroline, he killed my mom. You're my friend. I need you to just give it to me straight. Am I a horrible person? Okay, do you get cleansed? Almost. Tyler drew you a horse? No. Klaus did. Wow. You and your expensive jewelry and your romantic drawings can leave me alone. Did you ever take it? Why would I want to cure myself of being the most powerful creature on the planet? So there's not one single moment in your whole life that you want to be human. I was on a trek in the Andes, and a hummingbird flew up to me. It just hovered there staring at me. Its tiny heart was pattering like a machine gun. And I thought, what a thing. You know, to have to work that hard every day just to stay alive be constantly on the verge of death. And how satisfying every day must be that it survived. And that was the only time I thought about being human. Horses are the opposite of people. They're loyal. My father hunted me for a thousand years and the closest he ever came was the day he killed my favorite horse. He, he severed its neck with a sword as a warning. I get it. Your father didn't love you, so you assume that no one else will either. You may have started out playing crazy to make your enemies fear you, but now I'm not so sure that you're pretending. Stop using Michael as an excuse to be a bad father. You may not be able to be in the same room with her, but there's this this ancient gadget called a telephone. Use it before you lose your daughter and she loses you. Oh, come on. 
Take a chance, Caroline. Talk to me. Come on, get to know me. I dare you. Because I happen to think that you're someone worth it. There is no allure to darkness. Really? So you've never felt the attraction that comes when someone is capable of doing terrible things for some reason cares only about you? The school, but apparently that's a thing of the past since you're just inviting Voldemort to campus. Rick, we started this school to protect these kids. Hope is one of them and she's in trouble. We can't just turn our back on her. He still clouds your judgment. <sighs> but you see the good in people. You mean Klaus? Because I saw the good in Klaus. Your words, not mine. What are you talking about? I am talking about Klaus Michelson, a cockroach of a creature who wrought havoc on this earth for a thousand years and can never be stamped out, ever. I'm going to convince Rick to let our girls help you out with this. Because you are being a good father. And you are being a good person. So what do you want to talk about? I want to talk about you. <laughs> your hopes, your, your dreams. Everything you want in life. <laughs> and how could I tell you not to do that when that is all that I have ever... It would be so much easier if you just stayed the big bad. Maybe people just expect more from you. Why? Because being good comes so easy to me? Well, guess what, Tyler? It doesn't. I am a vampire. I have the same impulses as you. So I'm allowed to make some mistakes along the way. Yes! I slept with Klaus. That was my choice, and I am living with it. And I don't need to be hearing about it every five seconds. So just get over it. Or get out of my life, but... I'm done feeling guilty. No, you don't, because... Yes, I cover our connection with hostility, because yes, I hate myself for the truth. So if you promise to walk away, like you said, and never come back, then yes, I will be honest with you. I will be honest with you about what I want. Maybe I thought you'd chase me around for a few more centuries. That was always the fun part anyway. Come on. There must be a secret. It can't just be the sire bond. What is it? Compulsion? Manipulation? What is it you say to her? I think that this has something to do with a certain blonde vampire. Fun. They literally used to dance until they dropped. <laughs> I don't suppose that ever happened to their dance partners. You should be nicer to me. I'm leaving town tomorrow. I'd invite you to come with me, but we both know you're not ready to accept my offer. Perhaps one day, in a year, or even in a century, you'll turn up at my door and let me show you what the world has to offer. And maybe it's because I'm pure evil and I can't help myself. No. It's because you were hurt. Which means that there is a part of you that is human. You weren't the villain of my story. But I'll let you.
let you in on a little secret. There's a whole world out there waiting for you. Great cities and art and music. With you. Genuine.